Today we're going to find out what exactly happens when you drop beer bottles into the ocean. Let's go. Hey guys, I'd hate to waste a good beer, but today we're going to do just that. Now I know that bottles have been dropped into the ocean before by spring breakers off the coast of Florida. We're actually going to follow this down to see exactly what happens. Let's get straight to it. We'll be using this chamber to simulate the exact pressures that are experienced in the deep ocean. By the way, don't try this at home. We're dealing with extremely high pressures here. Okay, for the next step, we're just going to add one small cup of lime, just to add a little bit of zest. All right, let's close her up. I've been thinking about this test for a while. Let's christen this vessel. Unfortunately, I literally christened the new vessel with this bottle. If you look at the top right corner, the implosion was so violent that it left a permanent gouge on the inside. If we look at the data, we can see that the bottle imploded right at 704 psi, which is 485 meters deep in the ocean. Let's see the implosion again in slow motion. But I have to warn you guys, the sound is probably going to be the weirdest and most disturbing sound you'll ever hear. I've cut the volume output in half already. You can also plug your ears if you like. Right about now.
This is what the bottle would look like when it's lying on ocean floor. You can see that the bottle cap is actually slightly dented from the pressure acting on the outside. Before you guys go, I want to try one more quick test. But I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try using a stout instead of a lager to see if it makes a difference. Interesting. The bottle employed at 1,694 psi or 1,168 meters deep, which is almost two and a half times deeper than the Corona. I guess it makes sense since it's a stronger beer. Let's review the footage to see what happened. At 635 meters, there was a mysterious crack that almost knocked it off the stand. Surprisingly, the bottle held up for another 533 meters before the implosion, but it wasn't the glass that failed this time. If you focus your attention on the steel bottle cap, it begins yielding due to the pressure until it completely turns inside out, firing the bottle cap straight through the center, causing glass to shatter. When we take a closer look at the aftermath, we can see larger fragments of the body left behind, which is mostly intact. And here are the final results for today's test. It looks like the old stubby bottles are stronger than the modern long neck bottles. Ireland takes this match. Sorry, Mexico. At least you still have your football team. That's going to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, please consider crushing the like and subscribe button. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.